Boys and girls, welcome to this uh, cheese making session. What we are doing today is a ricotta cheese, a very simple uh, cheese with a simple recipe and just very few ingredients, in particular two ingredients. We have fresh milk, old milk, not skimmed. It's better to have it fresh because it gives you know a more intense aroma to the ricotta cheese. And the second ingredient is just a vinegar. I have here an apple vinegar, but you can take, for instance, also wine vinegar or even some lemon juice. What is important is that you add something acid because, as we will see, the ricotta requires a certain acidity. So, and what about the equipment? It's uh, very easy, we just need a pot with a herd to heat up the milk. We'll need some ricotta molds. I have here smaller ones, this is round. I have a heart-shaped uh, ricotta mold as well, just to, you know, have a more beautiful product in the end. Uh, then, eventually, you know, also a bigger ricotta mold, it depends on how much ricotta you're producing, how much milk you are processing uh, a glass to measure, you know, the vinegar and of course, very important uh, thermometer because we will have to, you know, check the temperature uh, at around 90 degrees, you will see, we will have to add um, uh, the vinegar. So this is the gear, so few ingredients, very simple um, equipment. Let's start, let's go into the recipe. So, the recipe of our ricotta cheese is indeed very simple. We will have first to pour the milk into the pot to heat it up uh, at approximately 90 degrees Celsius. And when the milk is very hot, we will have to add the vinegar. How much vinegar? Well, approximately it's uh, 20 milliliters per liter of milk. That means for three liters of milk, we'll need approximately 60 milliliters of vinegar added to the milk. So first of all, we have to switch on the herd, uh, I would say to a maximum, uh, so that the process of heating up goes uh, fast, as fast as possible. Then we will have to take the milk and to pour it into the pot, um, just uh, three liters, if you have three, but you can do it like with, with just one liter as well. Maybe you have, you know, a liter of milk left and you do not know how to use it. So this is a good uh, solution, a good idea how to, you know, process and use the milk which is in excess. Um, and then we will heat it up, again, as I was saying, up to 90 degrees. Uh, of course, we will have to mix it uh, continuously. Um, and then when the temperature of 90 degrees is reached, will have to add uh, the vinegar. Um, do not fill up the uh, pot up to, you know, the maximum because, you know, while heating the milk will increase in volume and this might uh, represent, of course, uh, a problem. So, um, let's start now with the vinegar. How do we measure the vinegar while uh, the milk is heating up? Uh, well, uh, I was saying 20 milliliters per liter of milk that means in this case I have, uh, well, approximately three liters. So I would say half a glass of vinegar. So we prepare in first instance half a glass of vinegar and we will use it later when the temperature is, uh, you know, uh, okay. So I will put it to the side and now we start heating and mixing the milk. So here is my herd and my milk. So you have to keep it continuously mixed and you check up and then the temperature. So I have um, um, an electronic uh, thermometer, which is very simple to use. I just, uh, you know, put it into the milk and, you know, the milk was very cold because it was just taken out of the fridge. But you see uh, the temperature is increasing very fast. So we have to just to wait a bit to mix and to be a bit patient. So you see we are approaching the 90 degrees, 82 almost. It is not boiling yet, but well, not far from doing. 
uh, prepare the vinegar on one side because as soon as we reach the 90 degrees, we will have to switch off the herd and to add the vinegar. So we are approaching the 90 degrees. I would say that we can switch off the herd. And then you take the vinegar, you, you add it to the milk, just like this. And then you mix a bit. You should see, you, do you see it? You should see the ricotta cheese coming to the surface, just coming up. Look, you see that? This is the ricotta cheese. So you wait just a bit because it has to get a bit drier. And as soon as it's done, we will take the mold and just fish the ricotta out of our pot. Marvelous. So you see, this is, well, the smaller mold. You see on the surface, there is sort of, you know, cheese. This is the ricotta cheese. Look how beautiful it is. And you have just right to fish it out of the liquid, marvelous, and to put it then into your container. You see how it works. We take uh, the heart and we just continue with the fishing. You see how yellow the um, liquid is? Be careful because it's very hot <laughs> and it's, it might be dangerous. So I just uh, continue now uh, putting the cell phone away because otherwise I just burn my fingers. So this is the situation. You see I've taken out the ricotta, the color of the milk has changed to almost yellow. And this is the final result. So four pieces, two rounds and two heart shaped. Now we'll have to put them into the fridge so that they get a bit uh, colder. And after a couple of hours, we'll take them out and you know put some jam or some herbs we'll see what to do with these marvelous pieces well guys and girls the fact is that i cannot wait so i will take uh, my ricotta even though it's still warm and put it on a beautiful dish and one two three wow this is our beautiful heart shaped ricotta I will uh, now put a bit of herbs on it just to make it, you know, wow, ready to eat. You can eat it like warm as well, so it's no problem. Look how beautiful. Well, and if you love sweeter things, I have here a raspberry jam and we can try to, you know, pair our next beautiful heart. Let's see, here it is, how beautiful, with a wonderful raspberry jam. Let's try it. So, wow, this is a homemade raspberry jam. Let's try it with this wonderful ricotta. Wow, this is marvelous. So, this is our result the salty version so to say with parsley and for a dessert we have the sweet version with a wonderful jam so is it beautiful is it marvelous this is a very simple recipe for everyday use so just enjoy producing these ricotta cheese <laughs>